Nevertheless the passions, whether violent or not, should never be so expressed as to reach the point of causing disgust, and music, even in situations of the greatest horror, should never be painful to the ear but should flatter and charm it, and thereby always remain music. How sad it is that these great gentlemen should believe what anyone tells them and do not choose to judge for themselves. But it is always so. When I am traveling in a carriage, or walking after a good meal, or during the night when I cannot sleep, it is on such occasions that ideas flow best and most abundantly. Just as people behave to me, so do I behave to them. When I see that a person despises me and treats me with contempt, I can be as proud as any peacock. We live in this world in order always to learn industriously and to enlighten each other by means of discussion and to strive vigorously to promote the progress of science and the fine arts. I cannot write poetically, for I am no poet. I cannot make fine artistic phrases that cast light and shadow, for I am no painter. I can neither by signs nor by pantomime express my thoughts and feelings, for I am no dancer, but I can by tones, for I am a musician. Please like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. The happy medium, truth in all things, is no longer either known or valued, to gain applause, one must write things so inane that they might be played on barrel organs or so unintelligible that no rational being can comprehend them, though on that very account, they are likely to please. It is a great consolation for me to remember that the Lord, to whom I had drawn near in humble and childlike faith, has suffered and died for me, and that He will look on me in love and compassion. When I come to reflect on the subject, in no country have I received such honors or been so esteemed as in Italy, and nothing contributes more to a man's fame than to have written Italian operas, and especially for Naples. I live in a country where music has very little success, though, exclusive of those who have forsaken us, we have still admirable professors and, more particularly, composers of great solidity, knowledge, and taste. As for pupils, I can have as many as I choose, but I do not choose to take many. I intend to be better paid than others, and so I wish to have fewer scholars. It is advisable to hang back a little at first, or it is all over with you, and you must pursue the common highway with the rest. Please subscribe thanks for watching.